viewers welcome to charities bubble usa your number one channel where we talk about facts we talk about uh, the green card the green card is here with us we only have three days to go and then we are gonna apply the green card now the question is do you have the right photo do you have it because that one has to be right and i have received so many questions because people want to get the right thing and people want to do the right thing but um do you have it have you taken it it's three days to go and make sure that you i must make sure that you have uh the right photo um my name is charity nganga charity is baba usa your number one channel and i am here to let you know or to inform you and to guide you on the right photo because i want you to have um, what is right when you are doing your application uh first of all i want to thank uh, my subscribers i have seen overwhelming support thank you thank you thank you thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for watching my videos thank you for just being there even uh giving the videos a thumbs up please when you watch the video give it a thumbs up ask a question anything as so long as you are commenting something that is appropriate put it there if it is a question i am gonna come and ask i am overwhelmed by your support we have reached 1.6 subscribers we only have 400 to go to get to 2000 and i know that you will get me uh, there you will get me to reach there so i am going to share the website with you so that uh, we go again over uh, the photo so that uh, we are making sure that we have the right photo that we are submitting on the 6th because we said we have to do our application as fast or um, uh, within uh, the the first uh, among maybe the first people but don't wait until the last minute i encourage you not to wait until um the last minute now uh, apart from the photo the other thing that you will require is your passport make sure that you have a current passport i have told you about this several times please make sure that uh, you have a current valid passport it cannot be expired it has to be valid so um please watch this video i have given the guidelines uh, go watch it listen to what they are saying so that you can meet all their requirements because the more you meet their requirements the more you will increase uh, your chances of getting uh, or winning uh, the green card now i am gonna go ahead here and uh, add a stream here so that i can share my screen and then we're gonna go through uh, these requirements because i want you to get it i want you uh, to know uh, about uh, this photo now Passport photos, uh, like I said, travel.state.gov is the website that we are looking at. Now, photo basics, it has to be a color photo taken in the last six months. Use a clear image of your face. Do not use filters commonly used on social media. So, you know, like sometimes you take a photo and then you want to brighten it because you want to paste it to, 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 uh, to post it on Facebook. Please don't do that. Have someone else take your photo no selfies don't take a selfie because it's not going to come out the way uh, they want take off your glasses for your photo use a plain white of white background so that is very important now if you already have a photo this one is not opening right now I th yeah it's opening if you already have a photo you will come here to the photo tool uh, when you have uh, done this but i am going to come to the photo tool here in a little bit let us look at the requirements now covid 19 update people are wearing masks Please make sure that you do not put on a mask when you are having your photo. Don't put on a mask. Do not put on a mask. Uh, they, need to, we, they need to see your full face to establish your identity because your photo is your identity. Now, tips for submitting your photo. Submit a high resolution photo that is not blurry, grainy or pixelated. And that is why I am saying go to a professional a photographer who will take your photo with a digital camera the correct size of your pa pa passport photo is 2 by 2 or 51 by 51 millimeters please explain this to your photographer and they will know uh, what to do especially the professional photographers they know this stuff the head must be between 1 and 1 1, one 3 over 8 inches that is 20 25 to 35 millimeters from the bottom of the chin to the top bottom of the head uh, so um it has to be printed on a matte or glossy photo quality paper. People were telling me about something different. Please make sure that it is on a matte or glossy photo quality paper. That is a high quality paper. Uh, do not digitally change the photo. It should not be altered in any way. 
and then do not submit a photo with holes, creases or smudges and then the photo tool. I will come to the photo tool after I've talked about here. What, what, what is going to be your pose? Have a neutral facial expression or a natural smile with both eyes open. Uh, look at this guy. We're going to use this guy. Both eyes are open. Face the camera directly in full, full face in view. You are looking at the camera here. Um, uh, we look at the, uh, the photos for the babies here in a little bit. Now, um, look at here. Uh, photo examples. Glasses. No, don't put on glasses. Size and position. This is acceptable. And people have, uh, I know there are some people who are posting um, on the uh, on, on the group to ask about uh, the photo look at this photo and then go with this and uh, see if your photo looks like this resolution acceptable photo is sharp without any visible pixels or printer dots this one doesn't have any dots the white background doesn't have any dots so make sure that you it looks like that digital alteration or retouching this one has been highlighted this person looks more lighter do not do that how do you pose Accept applicant is directly facing the camera. You must ha face the camera with a neutral expression and highly clearly visible. This is correct. Do you uh, have to wear hats? Uh, no, but you can only put on um, a head covering if it is religious and make sure that the full face is visible. No shadows or clothing ob obscure the face. What about your background? It has to be an acceptable white background. And it has to be uniform, plain and plain and white or off-white, free of shadows. What about children? No other person is in the photo. Do not hold the baby. The child is facing the camera with eyes open. Now let us look this one. This one is good. This one is not good. Because look at the hair. This is wrong. This one is a correct photo for a baby. This one is wrong. Look, the baby is facing the other side. This one is correct because the baby, even if uh, her hair is held at the back and is not covering the face. This one is wrong. Look at this baby is opening her mouth. This one is correct. This, this one is wrong because the baby is covering her mouth. This one is wrong. Look at the background. This, this photo has been taken when the baby is on the car seat. This is wrong. This is wrong because the baby has got an object that uh, is covering the mouth. And this one is also wrong because the mother is holding the baby. So make sure that uh, you, are, you are doing the right thing. Now, can I wear glasses or sunglasses or tinted glasses? These are the questions. In my passport photo, no. Take, in, take them off for your passport photo. If you cannot remove your glasses from, for medical reasons, you must submit a signed statement from your doctor with your passport application. Okay? Where can I get my photo taken? You can have a friend of, or a, a member take your passport photo. Or you can take, get your photo taken by an acceptance facility or photo vendor. I, I, I think I will prepare you going to a photo vendor or a professional photographer. Um, so uh, now you can take your photo. Now, now uh, here when we want to, get, to take our photos uh, for passports, we go to the post office or the library or a local government office. But if you go to a professional uh, digital photographer, especially in Africa, uh, you will get it uh, done. Okay, what pose should I be in my photo? Face the camera with your head centered in the frame and not tilted with a neutral expression or, or a natural smile. Can I wear a hat or head covering in my photo? You may wear a hat or head covering, but you must submit a signed statement that verifies the hat or head covering is part of recognized traditional religious attire that is customary or required to be worn continuously in public. That is people who, who their religion uh, allows them um, to wear a hat, like maybe they were Corino. So there are some, I know there are some uh, Hindu people who wear um, uh, head coverings, then uh, it has to be related to a religion. Or a signed doctor's statement verifying the item is used for daily or for medical purposes. Your full face must be visible in your heart or head covering and you, you cannot obscure your hairline or cast shadows on your face. And that is why I showed you, um, uh, which lady did I show you this uh, lady that I showed you here? Here, this one. Hmm? Okay, let's go on and see. Um, can I wear uniform uh, uh, in my photo? No, both adults and children cannot wear uniforms. A clothing that looks like a uniform or camouflage attire in the photos. Do, do not wear a uniform. Can I remove a red eye from a photo? No, you cannot digitally alter your photo. 
to remove the red eye maybe if you have red eyes and you want to make them brighter no don't do that uh, you will have uh, to submit a new photo can I, can I smile in my in my passport photo yes but it must be a natural and exaggerated smile both your eyes must be open you know like uh, most people when they smile they close their eyes so I would just make a neutral expression what is the best way to take the photo of a baby or a toddler while taking a photo of your baby or toddler no other person should be in the photo lay your baby on his head on a black plain white off white sheet make certain that there are no shadows on your baby's face especially if you take the picture from above please do not um uh do not make sure that uh there is uh there is no nobody are holding the baby now if you are covering the car seat with a plain white sheet of white paper it is best because the baby will be held on to the car seat and you will be also you will, will be take will take the photo when the baby is not moving around so you can use a car seat place the baby there and put a white uh, background sheet uh, there is it acceptable for my child's eyes to be closed in her photo um it is acceptable if an inf infant's eyes are not open or entirely open all other children must have their eyes open the, an infant is a baby who is less than um, um six months old now that one is accepted but if it is a, a child who you can tell open your eyes then they are their, their, their eyes must be open. I know it takes time to take a baby's photo, but you have to make sure that their eyes are open. Do I need a new photo if my appearance has changed, grown a beard or dyed my hair? Only if your appearance has, has significantly changed from your current passport. Growing a beard or coloring your hair would not constitute a significant change. You can still be identified from the photo in your current passport. You do not need to apply for a new passport. So they are saying it's okay and uh, uh, if you have braids or if you have beard coloring, it's okay. As long as that is what is in your current passport. Okay? You may only have to apply a new passport if you have. Let me click on this one. Ah... Uh, uh, that one doesn't tell us much. Let me go back because uh, it's taking me to another window and I don't want to open another, another window. I'm not sure if my photo meets requirements. What should I do? You can use our photo tool to see if your photo meets our requirements. Upload your photo and see examples of good and bad photos. Now let us go to the photo tool. Now here you already have your photo. Now let us see uh, what is going to show us. Now, um... This is, uh, you will upload your photo. Of course, you have saved your photo in the computer. Now you will upload it and it is here. Now it has to be, this is correct. This is correct. This is correct. This is correct. Now, look at this one. Correct. Wrong. 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 Look at this one. It is not at the center. This one is, is at the edge. This one, they, they, they are very far away from uh, the camera. Okay. What about your pose? This is correct. This is wrong. He is bending his head. This, this one is wrong. That is a fake smile. This one is wrong. He is tilted his head upwards. What about glasses? This one is wrong. This one is wrong. This one is wrong. This one is wrong. So they don't want glasses. What about uh, your attire? This one is right. This one is wrong. Look, they are covering their mouth. This one is wrong because they are covering part of their face. This one is wrong because the hair is covering the face. What about shadows? This one is correct. Look at this one. This is a highlighted photo. Hmm? Okay, what about this one? There is a shadow on this one, and this one is too bright. This one, and there is a shadow there. So, make sure that you don't have all this. What about your background? This one is good. The background with flowers? No. This one is good. A background with a map? No. What about your resolution and quality? This one is good. This one is wrong. It looks very dark there. This one is wrong because it has dots. This one is very dark and it doesn't bring out compare this person and this person this one doesn't even bring him out uh, properly what about the children this one is good they should not be holding something and you should not be holding them look at this baby huh? we, we can see the whole body they don't want that um this one is wrong so make sure that uh it's like that this one is okay okay let us go on let me scroll down here face obstruction now this one is correct this one is wrong this one is wrong. Look at that scarf and look at this hair. So make sure that you are meeting their requirements. That is what they want you to do. And the only way that you can know, hmm? uh, let me go back uh, here. And then I go back to my stream yard. I'm going to remove this one. Now, the only way that you can know whether you have taken the right photo is 
after you have followed those rules that I have shown you, upload your photo and put it on the photo tool. It is going to let you know. Because the normal eyes, I might not even be able to identify a good photo. Because the slightest mistake that computer detects. So make sure that uh, after you have taken your photo before uh, you go to do your application, you have submitted your photo on the photo tool. And then you know that it is correct. And then you can start doing your application. So that is very important for you to do. So again, this is Charities Bubble USA. I am giving you guidelines on how to succeed. I want you to succeed. Please, if you haven't subscri subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. If you have already subscribed, consider watching the videos and uh, making comments. And I will come back here before we start the application on the 6th and talk about another area where because I want you to get it. So stay Stay tuned and until next time, God bless you and stay safe.